Za nami druga próba Krystiana Okmana do półfinału Eurowizji 2022. Sprawdzamy, jak na występ naszego reprezentanta reagują dziennikarze z innych krajów. Zobaczcie sami. So, what do you think about uh, Polish rehearsal? Uh, I loved it. I think it was a surprise for me because I, uh, I saw the photos of the first rehearsal and I was very nervous to see what is going to happen on the stage. Uh, he was perfect vocally and the staging was one of the best for today, I think. And maybe a top 10 for Poland uh, this year. I hope so. I love the song and I love his vocals very much. So I hope uh, Poland is going to have a great result this year. Uh, what is your score from 1 to 10? Uh, for now I'm going to give it an 8. So I have, I'm anxious to see the rest of the second semi-final because semi-final 2 is very hard. So for now it's an 8, 8.5 and, and maybe till the grand final is going to be a 10 out of 10. Great, thank you so much. What's your opinion about uh, Polish rehearsal? So hello everybody, hello hello, I'm from Azerbaijan and I would like to say I love the rehearsal first of all and then uh, it starts with like those raindrops and I love the sound and how it starts and then it's like the same in the end that also it ends with the sounds of the raindrops and then I love the visuals actually in there like those lightning visuals and also Ochman's voice, I mean what you can talk about, it's amazing vocals and what to add, I just want to see like the dances more because camera more focusing on the Ochman himself and then I would prefer to maybe change a little bit the uh, let's say camera's angles to also show the dancers because there are dancers on the stage and I want to see them as well. So yeah. So so what is your score uh, from oh, one okay. to ten? Okay, it's eight out of ten for me. Yeah. Go Ochman. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much and love you guys. I'm gonna vote for Poland. I'm also waiting support from Polish guys. <laughs> Bye, love you. So, what's your opinion about Polish rehearsal? Oh, it was very, very impressive. Uh, Christian is just such a, a vocal powerhouse. He's probably one of the best vocalists we're going to see here. And I really liked the concept of the whole water. They carry that through the whole performance. So, what is your score in scale of uh, from 1 to 10? 1 to 10? I would have given that uh, an 8. 8 to 9. Yeah, it's very close. Very, very good. Great, thank you so much. So, what's your opinion about Polish rehearsal? Christian Ochman is amazing. Uh, the song is so powerful, and I think that, of course, in my opinion, she, he will go to the final. But um, Super Ochman is, uh, I, I tell you, amazing. What is your score from 1 to 10 to the Polish rehearsal? 8, for sure, 8. Uh, I love um, the performance too. So the song River and the, the water that is uh, around his performance is uh, beautiful and uh, it's important that um, all of the scene is uh, on, y on, the, on the singer. So he's in front of the scene and uh, all uh, river around him. It's amazing, good choice. Thank you so much. So what's your opinion about Polish rehearsal? Uh, I think he did a really good rehearsal. Uh, I, I was speaking to friends and I think that the, the choice of how, uh, how they're, they're doing the pictures is really good as well because um, uh, Ochman's uh, strength is really his voice but he might not be so expressive in his face so they, they've done the right amount of close-ups compared to uh, a bit wider pictures where you can really just take in his voice and his singing. So I'm, uh, I'm really impressed by the rehearsals and the choice of the, of the pictures and the production. So I think he will do really well. So what's your score from 1 to 10 to the Polish rehearsal? <laughs> It's always hard to, to, to grade something, but since it's still rehearsals and it's not even a dress rehearsal yet, I would give him, um, say, a strong seven. There is always room for improvement, of course, and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't matter until it's, you're on stage for the competition. That's when he needs to be a ten. Thank you so much, great. Uh, what's your opinion about Polish rehearsal? Oh my God, nobody can actually take a look you know, like we all looking at him 
and uh, it wasn't already about like that uh, black half of the sun not working it's just him singing and it was mesmerizing his voice and did you know that OG Ukraine we voted out of uh, all uh, songs in national selection we picked that song before the war so we love your song and uh, um, we thought that would be our first uh, victory for Poland and you're like so proud because you need that uh, so wow thank you f thank you for this opinion so what's your score from 1 to 10 I mean 10 so you can say something else and uh, he was, um, his composure and delivery, how he was so emotional and he was so invested in his singing and in his emotion, it was very good. And I hope press will vote for him today. I will. And I hope, uh, I, I hope I know Ukraine will vote for Poland. 24 points go to Poland. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I jak oceniasz próbę Polski do drugiego półfinału Eurowizji? Powiem Ci, Mieszko, że to jest ogromna radość odpowiadać na to pytanie w tym roku. Nie trzeba się ani trochę gryźć w język, dlatego że efekt był spektakularny, kiedy oglądaliśmy ten występ. Przede wszystkim podoba mi się spójna koncepcja. To jest coś, co właściwie mogliśmy zobaczyć też rok temu. Ja wiem, że ten występ jest kontrowersyjny i wiele ludzi ocenia go negatywnie, ten zeszłoroczny Rafała, ale moim zdaniem jedna rzecz, którą trzeba przyznać temu występowi, to że była przemyślana spójna koncepcja, jakiś pomysł był na to. Piosenka wykonawca, wiadomo, to już jest inna kwestia, natomiast jeżeli chodzi o sam koncept, on był i teraz znowu Mikołaj Dobrowolski pracuje nad tym występem i znowu widać, że jest za tym jakaś myśl i bardzo spójna myśl, która jest konsekwentnie realizowana przez cały występ. Bardzo mi się podoba mroczny charakter, to, że Krystian jest w centrum całego występu. Są tancerki, ale one są tłem, one nawet nie są oświetlone do końca, są tak delikatnie tylko muśnięte tym niebieskim światłem, co daje taki mroczny, tajemniczy klimat i jasny punkt na, na środku w postaci Krystiana Ochmana. E, motyw deszczu, motyw wody. Cudownie, mamy wodę na scenie, więc kiedy robić taki występ jak nie teraz? E, to wszystko sprawia, że mam wrażenie, że to jest występ kompletny. Parę rzeczy jeszcze jest do dogrania. E, wiadomo, że to wciąż są próby, więc jeszcze parę rzeczy można zrobić lepiej, ale ogólnie no tak jak mówię, czysta przyjemność patrzeć, czysta przyjemność wypowiadać się na ten temat. Dobra, akurat, akurat się udało. A jak oceniasz ten występ w skali od 1 do 10? No nie mogę dać innej opinii niż 10. Ja też, no, wiadomo, że nie jestem do końca obiektywny, bo gdzieś to serce bije szybciej, bo to Polska, ale mimo wszystko próbuję słuchać jak najbardziej głowy i ta głowa mówi mi, że naprawdę jest dobrze, więc dycha. Serce Europy bije w Turynie. Jak słyszycie, dziennikarze naprawdę pozytywnie oceniają próbę Krystiana Ochmana i mamy nadzieję, że już niebawem w drugim półfinale Krystian zmiecie konkurencję i zobaczymy go właśnie w finale 14 maja.